Stacy's Kitchen is brought to you by Passades the Food King Supermarket and Chatak Quality Food Products. Welcome to Stacy's Kitchen and on today's episode I will be cooking you up some cute little game day treats because you know some of us are big football fans or cricket fans or whatever game you like. So we will be doing some mini burgers or as we call them sliders so it's going to be mixed with beef and chicken, some loaded nachos and some spicy buffalo wings. So guys, before we do all of that, let's head on down to Passage the Food King supermarket where we will be getting all our lovely ingredients for today's episode. Hey, so come on, let's go. Okay guys, so I'm about to get my meat for my mini burgers and my nachos. So Everything for game night is about, you know, small treats. So I'm not doing any big burgers. I'm doing some sliders or as we call them, mini burgers. So I'm going to get some chicken and I'm also going to get some beef. All right, so I'm going to get some oil now to fry my wings up. What is games night without wings? So. We got our oil and I'm going to head over to get our spices now. Alright, so I'm going to go in here with some paprika from Chata. I'm also going to be using some oregano. Let me see what else. And some of their basil. Um, guys, papri paprika is really, really good on wings and also Chatak's chili powder. We need to have our wings nice and spicy. Alright, so here we have our spices from Chata. Hi, can I have um, 12 wings, please? Thank you. Alright, so we got our wings for our games night. And now we're going to get the rest of our ingredients. We're going to head on over for some lettuce and tomatoes to finish up our sandwiches. So we're going to be using some of these lovely tomatoes. Guys, look at these tomatoes. They are amazing. And it's just the perfect size for my burgers. Look at that. So I'm going to get a pack of these juicy tomatoes. And I'm going to get some lettuce. Oh, I see this nice bunch here. And I'm going to head on over for some cheese and some butter. All right, guys. So I'm seeing a lot of good deals here on these cheese at Passage. Um, so I'm seeing here this mozzarella used to be around $42. It's now $18.99. Well, look at that. Today is my lucky day. And I'm also going to get one of the cheeses that is mixed for some color for my nachos as well all right so they have a sale on this one as well so i'm going to get these so we got our cheeses for our nachos and also our burgers so to finish my game night meal i'm going to get some of these lovely tortilla chips here Yes, and these are amazing for my nachos. So we got our tortilla chips and I think we're about done shopping for my game night treats.
Welcome to the Chatak Kitchen, where it's tastier and spicier. For even more taste, cook with Chatak's Amchar Masala, Saffron, Ground Jeera, and Black Pepper. Mix in Chatak's mild, spicy Omadras curry. Get a boost of excitement with a mango Amchar, Homsa Day, and mango Kuchila, lime and pepper chunks, West Indian hot sauce, and lime pepper sauce. Plus, Chatak's tamarind and mango chutneys are perfect with Palori and Sahina. So make your kitchen a Chatak Kitchen. Chatak's fruit products. Bringing good taste to life. So I'm going to start by preparing my two meats, okay? So I have here my washed wings and I have my two meats, my chicken and my beef here already set up. So we're going to actually just put everything together. We're going to save some time, okay? Okay, so to my wings, I'm going to add two spoons of freshly ground seasoning. And I'm going to toss that up. And to that, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of this Chatax um, garlic seasoning. This is so good, guys. And you know it's all about buffalo wings today. So, of course, we have to use our cayenne pepper. So I'm just going to sprinkle about a tablespoon of that because we want spice. All right, so I have some fresh garlic also that I had chopped up here. And I'm just going to add a bit of salt. All right, so I'm just going to toss that up together. Guys, don't forget to WhatsApp us and let us know when you have tried the recipe. The number is on the screen. 393-ACTN. We have been getting some really good feedback. So I'm going to set these wings aside to marinate for about 15 minutes. Okay, guys. So I have my beef and my chicken mixture here already. And so I'm going to, to that, I'm going to add some of Chattak's um, parsley. I'm going to also add some paprika. Paprika is really, really nice in ground meats. All right, so I'm going to use Chatax paprika powder. And guys, the full recipe will be posted on the show. Also, please WhatsApp us for any information that you would need um, with regards for instructions and amounts and stuff like that for the recipes, okay? All right, so I'm also going to add one egg. So our egg is our binding agent. All right, and here I have a half of cup of um, breadcrumbs. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this together. All right, so we don't have to let this sit too long. We could start making our burgers right after we have combined these ingredients. Okay, so I'm going to start doing my little um, burger patties. So I have combined the meat and the seasonings and all of that, my egg, my breadcrumbs. So I'm just going to make them into some little balls because remember we're doing mini burgers. So we don't want them too big. So I'm going to start putting them up to, well it's basically pan fry. Alright, so we got 16 mini burger patties with these two packs of meat from Pussats, guys. Their prices are amazing and you need to go check them out. All right, so my pan is nicely heated. So I'm gonna start putting these guys in. Let's see how many we can get in there. All right, so we're gonna toss that around. Alright, I'm using a wide pan, so I'm getting as much in as possible. So I'm going to leave them for about three minutes each. 
on each side. Now, a little tip is, um, depending on if you're using a pan that could go into the oven, um, after sauteing the um, burgers like this, you can actually stick it into the oven for just a little bit to make sure that it's cooked um, right through. If you're not certain about the cooking and stuff like that, right? All right, so while my burgers are cooking, I am going to start prepping my meat for my loaded nachos. So I'm just going to dice my chicken breast that has been washed. And to that, I'm also using some minced beef because we are fully loading these nachos. Oh, this is beautiful. All right, some people say mini burgers, some people say sliders. Um, minced beef and minced chicken like this, it cooks really, really fast. So, again, like I always say, when you want your recipes to come out good, you must pay attention to when you're cooking. You can't be doing like 10 different things at the same time. I'm going to season my meats for my nachos. So I'm combining both again. All right, so I'm going to add some parsley, some dried parsley, chatax parsley. I'm also going in with some paprika powder as well from chatak. And I'm going to use some of the ground garlic seasoning that they have as well. I'm just gonna combine this here. Right, guys so these little guys here are ready they are nice and juicy and tender on the inside so I'm just going to remove them from the heat and I'm just resting it on a paper towel so some of that um, that grease or the fat or whatever can drain out a bit all right, so guys, now I'm gonna cook the meat for the loaded nachos. All right, so I'm using the same oil that I used for the mini burgers. It has a lot of flavor in it already. And guys, again, this is just about five minutes of cooking. All right, so I'm gonna leave this on medium heat, as I said, for about five minutes to cook up because um, when I load it onto the nachos, we're gonna be sticking it into the oven as well. So we don't wanna overcook the meat for it to become dry and um, crumbly. Simple, simple game day treats. All right, so I'm gonna do some prep for um, our sliders while this meat is finishing up here. So I've made a little paste with some mayo and some ketchup, um, some chili powder and paprika powder. Um, like I said, this recipe will be on the show. Um, what's up us and let us know uh, when you've tried it, how it came out. It's 393ACTN. So let's get our little sliders started. So now it's time to build our loaded nacho mountain. All right, so let's get started. So I'm gonna take my chips and stack them like so. All right, so I am going to add some cheese first because we want everything to stick together. All right, so I'm gonna put my cheese like this. So now I'm going to add some of this yummy meat that we cooked up earlier on. Our chicken and our beef. Listen, this thing smells amazing. 
All right, so I'm gonna do that there. I'm gonna add some onions. And the spice of my life, some jalapenos. We can't have nachos without some jalapeno. All right, so I'm gonna also add some diced tomatoes. Guys, you can make yours as cheesy as you want them or as meaty as you want. All right, so we have a lot of seasonings going on in the chips and the meat. So I'm not gonna add too much stuff on it anymore, okay? All right, so we're gonna be building our natural mountain here. And guys, you see how quick and easy this is? Let me add some more cheese. How pretty is that? All right, so I'm gonna add some more chips to the top. All right, so I'm gonna use the rest of my meat as well. We're gonna get all that in there. Listen, this is a whole meal by itself, as you can see. All right, let me get a couple more chips in here. This looks so yummy and so pretty all the same. All right, so we're just gonna top it off now with some extra cheese and we're gonna stick it into that oven or your toaster oven for about 10 minutes, yeah? Welcome to the Chatak Kitchen, where it's tastier and spicier. For even more taste, cook with Chatak's Amchar Masala, Saffron, Ground Jeera, and Black Pepper. Mix in Chatak's mild, spicy Omadras curry. Get a burst of excitement with a mango Amchar, Homsa Day, and mango Kuchila, lime and pepper chunks, West Indian hot sauce, and lime pepper sauce. Plus, Chatak's tamarind and mango chutneys are perfect with Palori and Sahina. So make your kitchen a Chatak Kitchen. Chatak's fruit products. Bringing good taste to life. So now it's time for our wings. We have our burgers, we have our nachos, and it looks and smells so amazing. I cannot wait to taste this. All right, so I'm going to start breading my wings. So I have uh, my seasoned wings. I have my um, breading that I made. Um, well, you will get the recipe on the show. Um, instead of using like the panko or the normal store-bought breadcrumbs, I'm using cricks. So that's my secret ingredient. Um, trust me, it, it comes out amazing. So I'm going to season up these um, crumbs with some chatak chili powder. Some of their cumin. 
I'm going to go in with some parsley. And we cannot, cannot forget our paprika. And uh, just to bring, just to hold the batter on the meat. So I have what we call an egg wash. I use two eggs and I put some, um, some cayenne pepper and also some of my buffalo sauce that I made. All right, so it gives, it gives it a nice flavor. All right, so I'm going to dip my wings into my egg wash, then to my batter, again to my egg wash, and then to my batter. All right, so you're learning some little tricks here. <laughs> Guys, please try the recipes and let us know. All right, so it's, it's um, egg wash, batter, egg wash, batter, right? All right, so you wanna also keep it on medium heat so that it doesn't burn. And when frying, um, these, these wings are pretty small, so I would say about four minutes each on each side. All right, so my oil is nice and hot, so I'm gonna start putting my wings in to fry. And you want to make sure that you put enough oil to cover the pieces of the meat so that it cooks properly. If you're not using a deep fryer, you have to make sure that the wings are immersed properly and fully into the hot oil. All right, so we're going to leave it for about four minutes on each side and then we're going to take them out and we repeat the process again. Okay guys, so my wings are coming along pretty nicely and now it's time for my buffalo sauce. So this is pretty much an uh, easy, uh, simple way of making your own homemade buffalo sauce. So in my pan, I have put um, well some butter, I would say about three tablespoons of butter. I use some vinegar and to that I added some cayenne pepper. All right, so cayenne pepper and vinegar, it's most important in when you're doing your buffalo sauce. All right, so I put it in my pan and I'm gonna let this cook up for a couple of minutes until the butter melts into the sauce. Simple as that. Our wings are looking so yummy, guys. So, so yummy, you should even smell it. Guys, don't forget, again, the number is on the screen. 393 ACTN. Please try the recipes. WhatsApp us. Let us know how it comes out. Oh my gosh, the sauce looks amazing. It looks amazing. It smells amazing. Your very own homemade buffalo sauce. My way. Stacey's Kitchen Way. All right, so our sauce is ready. So I'm just going to turn the heat off of this. And I'm going to start taking my chicken out. Guys, look at how lovely this chicken looks. The color is perfect. All right, so I'm going to start putting in the rest of my wings. Buffalo wings are always such a treat and it is, it is perfect for a game night or a game day. Not everybody could leave their homes to go look at a game, you know, and especially now as we have so many restrictions and we also have to be cautious, it's important that, you know, we learn to do stuff at home as well. All right guys, so our wings are ready 
and I'm just going to finish them up by adding my sauce to my wings and just enjoy that after. The prices at Prasad's are amazing. Trust me, the prices are amazing. Um, they had a lot of specials this week and I took full advantage of it. Okay guys, so there we have it. Our spicy buffalo wings, our loaded nachos, and our mini sliders, or as we say, mini burgers. Okay guys, most important, I am going to taste my own cooking. So, let's dig in. I'm using all my fingers. This kind of food is not for knife and fork. So I'm gonna go in with the buffalo wings first. Hmm, amazing. I might have to stop myself, you know, tonight. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna try to load the nachos now. On point, on point. Guys, trust me. You probably ain't wanna go and buy this anywhere if you learn to make it. It's it's on point, trust me. The flavors came together nicely. Everything is on point. All right, so let me try my little mini burger here now. Mmm, delicious. The burgers were perfectly cooked. It's still soft, it's still juicy, simply amazing. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, again, meals fit for a king, queen. Also guys, special thanks to Passards, the Food King supermarket for all these wonderful and cost-effective ingredients. Shout out for all their lovely herbs and spices that brought everything together today. And don't forget to check us out Monday at 6.30 p.m. for another episode of Stacey's Kitchen on ACTN The Voice.